every week, of course, when we showcase something that can make your life easier, trendier, or just a little bit more fun. And all season long, we've been giving you gift ideas. But what about a gift for your favorite furry friend? This week's Friday Find is perfect for Emily's brand new puppy, Omar, who, look at that, is right here on the couch today. Omar, congratulations on making your winging a debut. Um, today, we have a great Friday Find that's perfect for Omar or any other dog. It's called a Bark Box. And this is kind of like a birch box. It's one of those things mm -hmm. where it's a subscription service. So you can sign up um, your, for yourself if you want to give your, your pet a gift or if you would like to give the pet <laughs> lover in your life a gift. You just sign up on BarkBox.com and once a month, a little present comes full of great things for your dog. So this is the one that they sent us as a sample. Look at the Omar loves it already, Em. Omar loves the bark box. <laughs> this is the one they sent us as a sample. They have all these, all different kind of treats for your dog. And every month this comes. Do you think this, this would be great? I think this is so cool. And you know, I love this. I have a puppy. It's my first time having a puppy. So this would be awesome because it's a great way to learn puppies' favorites. Favorites, so you know what to get in the future. Every month, I think it's a different toy, yes. and a different tree, and I think that's so neat. And, and I think Omar seems really into how it. Cute he is. And if you go on BarkBox.com, you can pick, I believe, how much you want to spend each month. So you can do like a $5 gift a month, a $10 gift, or a $20 gift every month. And you can pick what size dog it's for, which is important, right? Omar's huge. <laughs> I don't think Omar would like maybe the same things, or you know, like you were saying, this might be a little bit big for him, or not. Maybe it wouldn't be too big for him. Okay, so now that we know about our Friday find, again, BarkBox.com if you're interested in getting this for your pet, which is a huge trend to get Christmas presents oh, for your pets or for the pet lover in your life, BarkBox.com. But tell us about Omar because our viewers don't know him yet. Well, Omar is named after a character from the show The Wire. I don't know if you're a fan, but <laughs> it's my husband and my favorite show. And we got him from the SPCA, the Erie County SPCA. And I can't say enough about the experience. It was great. They were so supportive through the process and they made sure he was happy and healthy before we brought him home. And we've had him for a little over a month and he's just so much fun. He's growing, believe it or not, rapidly. And how many pounds is he and how old is he? He's about five months and he's about seven pounds right now. Aww. And he loves winging it. <laughs> Channel Does he four. watch it at home? <laughs> yeah, he checks WIVB.com every day. <laughs> when he he's not babying, right? Know, when he's not getting pretty for the show. <laughs> yesterday we had some fun in the snow and then I didn't think he was ready for his t TV Aww, debut. Wow. So we took a little bath and it was just so much fun. He's awesome. And What is his favorite thing to do? His favorite thing to do, I would have to say he loves ice cubes. Okay. I, we have hardwood floors and I slide an ice cube down and he goes crazy. It's so funny. Anyone with a puppy, I definitely recommend it. Does he think they're like kind of cold? Like he touches them, he gets brave yeah. and then he and pulls they away. They slip right out of, his yeah. out of his mouth. So he just goes crazy. It's so funny. <laughs> does he ever so. um, watch them melt in the sink? I know my cats love to watch the ice cubes melt in the sink. He doesn't do that, but what he does is he buries them. <laughs> and then I feel so <laughs> bad because they're, they're not there when he goes back. But he's got to learn somehow. Very well, he's been so good. He I know that we, so were, we were not, this is the first time on TV. You never know yeah. someone's going to react to the experience, but he's been just a wonderful, a wonderful little guest to have here. So Omar, thanks so much for coming, bud. We got to get him on Twitter so our viewers can tweet him, don't you think? Yes, you know, he does have an Instagram hashtag. Okay. It's hashtag Omar Felmet. Omar Felmet. If you are interested in following Omar on Twitter, there or on Instagram, there you go. And we have some news about Instagram and Twitter pictures coming up later yes. in the dish. So we'll be sure to catch up on all that. Well, thanks for coming. Omar, hope you like your bark box and Merry <laughs> Christmas to you. Right now we're going to talk about another place where you can find some wonderful things for this holiday season. If you're into kind of having an old fashioned Christmas, Matt took a trip out to the, Mar the Marilla Country Store, which has been providing Western New York with the most finest country Christmas items since 1850s.